guys. Well, I uh, pulled out my plans and was able to get all of the pieces cut. So I've got the frame pieces, the, uh, the big barb here. Nothing's welded together yet. It's just held together with the magnets. And then here are the three pieces that will be the lifting mechanism. I had a Sharpie and I uh, labeled uh, each piece as to not get confused on the pieces. So basically my next step will be drilling out all the holes. I figure I should probably drill the holes before I weld it all together because once I, once I, uh, especially on, on this, this piece here, it may be difficult to drill the holes in this once I weld it because it'll be bulky on this frame. So, um, all right, people. Oh, let me tilt it down a little more. There we go. <clears throat> All right, there's my two bar mechanism. Everything's welded together. I bolted it together, I didn't tighten it down all the way, just kind of dry fitting it to make sure everything runs smoothly. And man, it is. It is smooth. Whoop, Ooh. whoop, Ooh. Very awesome. So there's the bottom frame. Here it is coming at you. Pretty freaking cool. Let's point it up here. So my spider's gonna go on the top of this bad boy. And it's gonna jump. My two bar mechanism, a la Pandemic Cemetery. So there it is. I just got to figure out where I'm going to mount my cylinder. Uh, let's see here. Oh, crud. The cylinder I'm going to use is actually in the garage. Alright, so this one here seems as if it will work. I will actually have to mount it a little higher, about right there. to keep. You know, I don't want this hitting the ground. And this will bring this guy up pretty good. It's not fully extended. That's, that's a pretty good jump. So I'll look at it. Um, so now I need to take this thing apart and uh, prepare it for uh, painting. Uh, first, I'm going to go, I haven't cleaned up the welds. I need to uh, go back over it with a grinder, grind these bad boys down, and then uh, see where the weak points are, and then re weld some more. Um, you know, I am a beginning welder, so uh, they're they're not too pretty. Um, I did get a couple of pretty good welds on here. Um, I'm pretty proud of this one. If you can see this one, that's not too bad. There's like hardly any bird chit at all on that weld. I just want to make sure that this this crossbar here. Um, you know, where it joins the frame, this has to be really strong. So I need to make sure um, this this is where there's a lot of stress on this thing right here. Um, I may even what I'll probably do uh, since my welding isn't all that great right now. Since I'm gonna mount my cylinder up high, I could go ahead and put some angle iron here and. Uh, Put some bolts in it, bolt this down, bolt it down there to really reinforce this. Uh, that's probably be a good idea uh, just, just to be on the safe side. So I'll probably go ahead and do that, uh, which I think will help out with the strength uh, of, of the mechanism. So, Okay, people. I don't know if you can see this freaking thing or not. <clears throat> but this was my jumping barrel setup uh, using a... Uh, animation Maestro um, is already ready to hook up so all I did was just plug it in so um, here we go
very awesome. So it works. Um, I will be putting this spider on there. I don't have a way to hook it on there right now. I don't want to just kind of slap it on there and jack the spider up. So we need to figure out um, a good way to put the spider on there. But there we go. There it is. Good where you guys can get a good shot of it. Ta-da! And it didn't fall apart. Look at that, the weld's held. But I'm still gonna reinforce it some more. Um, I just couldn't help but but hook the uh, hook the mechanism up to it.